no matter how harmed you have about the systems of the world, no matter what you try and do in, concerning the systems, the happenings of the world, the attractions of the world, if prayer is not given the priority, your armor cannot stand. The Bible says, he that thinks, he stands. He should do what? Take it. Lest the what? False. If you are not praying, it's a matter of time. One will fall. If one is not prayerful, it's a matter of time. The enemy, Satan, who is not relenting, will have a leeway, will have a loophole, will have a crack to come in. Every child of God's ambition, so to speak, is to grow, must be to grow in the knowledge of God. And the only avenue, the most important, the strongest, the greatest avenue through which one can grow is communion with God. Miracles are divine intervention, supernatural, you know, outreach from above, from God, to you and I, the natural man. By virtue of what you and I, the natural man, must have asked God. So if you don't ask, miracles will not happen. Prayers must go to your prayer bank. Prayer account from where God draws from you from time to time. Let our prayer ascend a sweet aroma, sweet incense, sweet odor, pleasant odor, acceptable before God. We cannot pray, no? Prayer cannot be too much. Let's keep praying. And as we keep praying to the living God, answers will come in Jesus' name. That baby will come in Jesus' name. That expectation will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. That desires will be granted in the name of Jesus.